Hello guys and welcome to another Car Exposed video. Today we're gonna be working on the Skoda Superb again. 2011 2 liter. Look, turned up yesterday, said it was having some strange noises around the engine. And let's see if we can replicate that. He was here with me yesterday actually. We actually diagnosed the car together. So let me start the engine. So, yeah, he's doing it at the moment as well. So I don't know if it's gonna come through all right because it never seems to, to get the same sort of noise with the mobile, but he was here with me. And can you, can you hear this? It's like screechy noise. And first of all, we started on the left. It seems to be coming through the left. Check the pulleys. And let's see if I can get a shot of that. Can you see the tension up? Moving back and forth excessively. So it's right there. So we're able to make it stop. Sometimes it stabilizes and doesn't make any noise. And obviously when you accelerate just a tiny bit, also stabilizing the noise goes away. So that's what we're gonna be doing today is replace this stationer, the auxiliary belt stationer. Let me accelerate a little bit. You can, I don't know if it's gonna come through because it's not very, not very obvious. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna come through. It's not very obvious, but there you go. That's what we, that's, that's what we're gonna do today. So he went ahead and bought a new tensioner and the new belt as well. So got the new belt, Taiko and the new station is a shuffler. Let me get you the part number. So the part number there. Okay, so what, what we could see that was happening with this tensioner when he brought the car, it seems to be moving that way. I mean, for the for the pulley to, to move back and forth, it's kind of normal, but it was seems like to be moving like sideways. Another thing, the first day that he bought, I saw the car in the evening, it was making a noise and we could tell that it was coming from the tension and then when he brought the car here the next day that noise changed that's why he brought the car because he was a bit concerned there was something was going to break and it was more of a thumping noise and as you can see it's not your usual you know a couple bolts at the front and then the tension comes off it actually has one bolt right at the back so quite a few things has to come off for us to to have clearance to get to that bolt but i'll take you through it and uh, yeah, let's get going. Right, so our precious bolt is just in between the alternator and the AC compressor just there on the side. So we've got to clear all this area here. I'm gonna remove the cooling fan. So you have some torque screws in the corner. I believe they're T25, I'm not really sure yet. So one here, one on each corner. So all this, the air filter house has got to come off, uh, the air duct. So we've got to disconnect, got to disconnect the air mass flow sensor and this tube as well. The air filter house is just held by some uh, rubber plugs. So the whole thing comes out. Next, I'm going to remove this air duct. There we go. 
All right, next we have the cooling fan uh, plug. I hope not, I'm not in the way. We've got to push the red tab up and obviously press the connector because I can't grab from the top. There we go. It's off. Now we can remove the four, four screws. There's a T40 by the way. We remove those four screws and then the fans are gonna remove the fan from the top. Two more to go. Now I'll remove the intake pipe, starting from, from the top here. So it's just a Jubilee clip. And then the bottom bit is, is plastic, so. Right, so that's disconnected, let's go to the bottom. Then I will remove this intercooler pipe, the hose. It's two, two clips, one there and one by the intercooler. They are generally quite tight. One more to go. And next we have a sensor here. With those VAG uh, connectors, just push it in, press on the clip, and push that, uh, and then disconnect. Next, 30 millimeter, or T30 here. Works dirty. Oh, well, that's tight. That is tight. There we go. It's broken loose. We have one more, a little bit hidden. See if we can get that in focus. Right there. So, so there it goes, a little bit hidden. It should be okay. So next I'm going to remove the belts. So this is a good opportunity to take a picture of the layouts. Uh, I've worked in this car so many times I uh, I know how it goes on. So 16 mil. Just gonna take tension and the belt slips off. There we go. All right, so I'm going to remove the pulley here to show you the brackets, um, you know, around the back. But let me show if I can show you this. Can you see the movement sideways of the pulley? And I think that's what's happening. You know, it's, it's okay to move forth, back and forth, you know, but not sideways like this. Look at that. But let me remove this, uh, this pulley here. And you can have a better idea. I can show you the brackets and everything while we, we're doing all this. So here we have the tensioner here, and it's, it goes basically inside these brackets that holds the alternator and the AC compressor. So there's a bolt right in the back, and I'll show you the bolts now. Or well, try to show you the bolts now. Let's see if I can get it focused. So it's right there. And my fingers pointing shiny shiny bolts so we have a, a hole that you can go through the sockets and then remove the the bolt so that's what i'm going to do next right, 
bolts removed. I think you might have a little, still a little bit of pressure here. But there you go. There you go, that's our price. Let's get a new one. All right, so that's our price. Let's get a new one in. All right, so here it is, guys. I gave a bit of a clean. And as you can see, you have two notches there. Uh, a big one on the bottom right. That's where our uh, tensioner, this big part here, is gonna sit. This tensioner comes with a pin, so it'll be easy to, to fit it in and also fit the belt back in. I'm just gonna fit that. Let's see if I can record the fit at the same time. So this part's gonna go to the bottom right and there we go now all i have to do is put the bolt the other side don't know if i showed the bolts before but here it is it's a 13 mil so i'm gonna use this long socket and fit it back in it's pretty tight in there so i'm not gonna be able to film it all right so just right there bolt is back in good tensioner nice and solid Okay, so that's in place. So now we're gonna fit the new belt, so facing the right way. I'm gonna hook around the alternator first at the top, then around the AC compressor. I'm not gonna have any, uh, obviously we have that pin on the tensioner here, so it shouldn't put any tensioner tension on the belt at all. Oh, it's, it's not quite going over the going over the alternator. There we go. Right, so just make sure it's going over the alternator properly, your AC pump and the crank, crank pulley. Now at this point we could we can remove the the pin. So let me go and grab a pair of pliers. Alright, so just move the tension a little bit. So that, that's our pin. Release tension. And that's it, job done. Lovely. Looking good. Look all the stuff that had to come out just for that tensioner. Quite a few bits. It's a lot of bits, but it doesn't really take that long. And you, you make it, your life a lot easier uh, without taking that off i don't think you could you would be able to get to that bolt but anyway i'm just gonna finish cleaning everything there's a lot of grease and stuff like that so put everything back and i uh, will come back when it's all all done all right so all done all put back together let me show you the engine results look can you put the engine on please There you go guys, I don't know if you could hear me there, but yeah, that movement sideways definitely gone uh, and the noise definitely gone. So yeah, the, the movement of the pulley going back and forth is normal because it's, it's a spring, but sideways is not like the other one. You could see the plane the other one, but I'm happy. The noise definitely gone. Um, it started raining, so I had to take a shower and I'm, I'm going to work in a minute anyway. Got changed and that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video or I hope the video helps. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any comments, just leave it below and I'll see you 
in the next video. Cheers.